I will uh, pass the mic to Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> sit down. You're out of you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey. S sit down and don't play this stuff. Next shooting hey. is right now and you are doing nothing. No. You need to get his out of here. This isn't the place to talk to so. This is totally predictable when you Sir, you're out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Please leave this auditorium. I can't believe you're a sick son of a that would come to a deal like this to make a political issue. It's only like you. Why don't you get out of here? The governor of the state of Texas, the most powerful man in the state, chose to do nothing. He went to Santa Fe High School after kids were killed in their classrooms, told the parents he would do something. He did nothing. He great, came great. to my hometown of El Paso great. after 23 great. people were slaughtered. He said he was yeah, going to do something. Bottom. He did nothing. In fact, the only thing he did was make it easier to buy a gun. The only thing he did was make it easier to carry a gun in public. And he bragged about the fact that there would be no background check, no training, no vetting whatsoever. His only interest is the gun lobby. He's scheduled to speak at the NRA convention this Friday in Houston, Texas, just days after these kids were slaughtered right here in Uvalde, after they were slaughtered at Santa Fe High School, at Sutherland Springs, in Midland, Odessa, in El Paso, Texas. Five of the worst mass shootings in U.S. history right here in this state in the last five years. He was governor for every single one of them. And after every one of these, he holds a press conference just like this. And I wish to hell when he came to El Paso, someone would have stood up and held him to account and confronted him and shocked the conscience of this state into doing something. Because if we do nothing, we will continue to see this year after year, school after school, kid after kid. This one is on all of us. He said, he it's on every single one of us to do something.